Hi, this is Miss McPhee, and it is Friday, yay, December 9th, and we would have been working this week on transformations in pre-algebra. You've been doing a great job. We've been talking about dilation specifically today, and we're going to look at two dilations. One where it's a dilation from the origin, and one that we looked at today where it's a dilation at a different point. And we'll look at how that's related to each other and how it's a little bit different. So the dilations this week, you were doing a great job. You realized that you could just take each coordinate and multiply it by the scale factor. And the reason you can do that is because these coordinates are telling you their distance from the origin or your distance from point zero, zero. Whereas here in the second question, now our center is going to be at negative two, one. And so you're going to need to figure out the distance that each point is from that center and then use the scale factor to determine the new distance. So for six, we could take, and I'm sorry for the X, Y, Z, I, B, M confusion. If we take one and cut it in half, we're going to get one half. And if we take negative two and cut it in half, we're going to get negative one. So over one half and down one. And that's going to be our new x. But the other thing that we could do is we could say, okay, well, how far is x from the origin? Well, to get there, I'd go over 1 and down 2. If I cut that in half, I'm going to go over 1 half and down 1. So the strategy that we're going to use in the second one, we could also apply here if we wanted. For y, our coordinates are 1, 4. Since it's coming from the origin, I could just multiply my coordinates by my scale factor. So half of one is one half, half of four is two. So my new coordinates for y are one half and up two. If I wanted to use the counting strategy again, to get to y from the origin, I'm going over one and up four. If I want to use a scale factor of one half, then I'm gonna go over one half and up two. So I'm multiplying by the scale factor or I'm counting half the distance. And then for z, multiply by the scale factor, half of four is two, half of one is one half. So my new coordinates for z are over two and up one half. Or again, to get from the origin, 2 point Z, I'm going over 4 and up 1. So if I cut that in half, I'll go over 2 and up 1 half. And then I connect and I have my dilation. Similar shape, corresponding angles congruent, corresponding sides are proportional. All right, so now we look at 7. 7, you can't just multiply by the scale factor because now we're not talking about how far is this triangle from the origin. We're asking how far is it from this point, negative 2, 1. So I'm going to start with M because that just looks really straightforward. To get from my point negative 2, 1 to M, I'm going over 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. I want to take a third of that distance. One third of six is two. So I'm gonna go over two instead, and that's my coordinate for M1. So my coordinates will be zero and one. For B, to get from my point negative two, one to B, I'm going up one, two, three, and I'm going over one, two, three. Well, that's nice to cut that in one third, I'm gonna go up one and over one. So this is my new coordinate for B, which looks like it's at negative one, two. And then finally, I. To get from my center, my point, negative two, one to I, I'm going down one, two, three, four, oops, sorry, one, two, three, even nicer, and I'm going over one, two, three. I'm going to take that distance and multiply it by the scale factor. One third of three is again one. So I'm going to go down one and over one. And those are my new coordinates for, oh goodness, did I? 
so for I. Very good. And then we're going to connect our teeny tiny points. My new coordinate for I again was 0, negative 1. And again, there is my similar shape by one third of the original. Dilated, I found the original distance from the center and I multiplied by the scale factor. Did the same thing here, but since it's the origin, that shortcut we noticed is you could just multiply the coordinates by the scale factor. When it's about the origin, you can really use both strategies. When it's about a point that's not the origin, really using that graph and the counting strategy is probably the way that's gonna make the most sense to you. But if you come up with another way that works for you, I would love to hear it. Uh, you did a really good job this week. Really happy for you. Watch this over a couple of times. Maybe try the problems out. Check your answers. We have that classwork grade on Monday, and you will be allowed to use your notes. Have a great weekend. See you later. Bye.